Uh, Minister, I, you referred to earlier on when you were speaking to this amendment of, uh, th that it was premature, or would be premature to accept it. Now, that's very hard for the people in Mayo who have been 10 years fighting uh, this campaign to have their, their houses uh, restored. So it certainly isn't premature uh, for them. They've had 10 years, as you know, of anguish, of watching their, their homes uh, crumble and their lives crumble physically and mentally around them. Um, and the question is, uh, Minister, of how, who's responsible and who's accountable? And I think we all need to find that out. We cannot just have this monumental disaster and nobody is responsible for it. So I think this amendment gives the opportunity to address this in terms of producing this report. Uh, and all it asks for is the report uh, to look at the introduction of levies against certain financial institutions, construction companies and insurance undertakings. We have to remember that in terms of financial institutions, mortgages are being paid on all of these properties that are worth zero, but their mortgages haven't reduced in any way. A profit is being made by the banks and the financial institutions on the back of these crumbling homes. And this is what this amendment seek, seeks to address. In terms of the construction companies and um, their responsibility for it and the sources of the materials that were supplied uh, to these uh, innocent uh, uh, people or these people, these victim people who have become the victims uh, of, of this uh, scandal, um, they also have to be accountable. And the insurance companies, the insurance companies were, were, were quite willing, as they are in the, in the case of, of uh, the insurance for all homes, uh, to take in the premiums and then they run for the hills when something goes wrong and something has gone drastically wrong here. 